First things first, you are going to download Steam and then you are going to download and buy VTube Studio. This is a separate program. It does not come with this model. When you open up VTube Studio, you are then going to click this little person icon and then you're going to import your own model, open folder and open that right there. Unzip your download from me and then add the Jackie folder, the entire folder into the Live2D models folder. You are going to hit auto setup. Then click that cogwheel icon. My initial settings look like this. Then hit that person icon at the top. I turn off movement config. I up the dragging physics. While setting up your parameters, it's best if you can record if possible. So next to in, in that parameter right there, that number that's constantly changing, that is basically representing you and what you're doing. For face turn right left, for example, when I turn right, and it says 27, I replace that 30 at the top above in with 27. And then when I turn left and it says eight, negative 18, I replace the negative 30 with negative 18. You are only editing the in, you do not need to edit the out. I know it's a little confusing, but I recommend playing with these numbers and parameters. You can also up the smoothing, and what that does is basically exactly what it sounds like. It essentially forces your model to not go back and forth too quickly or weirdly between different parameters. In regards to the blinking, unfortunately I forgot to unlink my eye blinking, so you can't really see one eye closing at a time, instead she's doing both, but other than that, it's the same process. Now it really is important to record this if you can, so this way you can see exactly what numbers you should be putting in the in, because in some areas, my numbers are pretty off from what the program suggests. This also has a lot to do with your lighting source, and I think even skin color to an extent, because when it comes to the mouth smile and mouth form parameters, the camera has a problem picking up when my mouth is closed. That is regardless of the lighting situation in my room. So I think the color of my lips is a little bit confusing for the tracking software. Thus, I recommend that you edit it to tailor your facial features. I had a client with heterochromia and one eye was constantly reading as closed. So in that case, you need to make sure that your eye parameters uh, I open and I close for right and left are not exactly the same because they'll have different sensitivities for each eye since her eyes are different colors. Also, when you are adding in your parameters and changing the numbers, you need to basically keep in mind what you are reasonably going to do. So instead of turning all the way left that you possibly can, turn as left as you would normally during a stream. Looking at something to the left of your screen is actually going to be a pretty slight motion, so thus you would not have your number at negative 30, for instance, and it might even be like negative 8, because realistically you're not going to be making very big motions. And yet you want your model to have a lot of movement and portray a lot of movement, even though you yourself aren't necessarily moving that much. I know this can be very confusing. I do recommend watching this part several times if you've never set up a model and paying a lot of attention to how I'm changing the numbers. You also do not have to get the full range of motion if you do not want to. For example, if you don't like the way she looks when she's looking all the way down in body Y, instead of making it negative 17, or even negative 30, you can make it negative 40, which means that it's kind of limiting her range and she won't go through the entire range of motion. For this section, she is now done setting up all her parameters, so we're going to add in the different hairstyles. I'm also demonstrating right now how to add an expression. If you wanna maybe have her make a sad face or something like that, you can make one yourself by following these steps. As you can see, by manipulating those things, I was able to create a sad face. And then when you trigger it by pressing a button, she will make a face like that. It can be hard to have your model keep a consistent facial expression if you're trying to portray a specific emotion, so that's why you can do something like this. As of right now, she does not come with any stickers or expressions other than what you can make in here. Now I'm adding in the hairstyles next, and it's the same process. I'm going to create new expression, and then I am going to turn the long hair off and turn the short hair on. And then I'm going to name this expression short 
short hair, afro, whatever. We have to repeat this process for each hairstyle and then an additional time for her simply turning off the long hair in case you want it without the ponytail. The final expression I would be making is one to toggle her breasts on and off. You don't have to do that, it's just there if you want to. Anyway, here is me making those expressions. When you're done making all of them, you're gonna hit cancel and then you can hit that plus button right there. Then hotkey action, set unset expression, and then click the expression you wanna set, like long off, and then key combination, I record and press one, for example. And I do that for every single expression. Set unset, then click the one you want to show, and then assign a key to it. Repeat the process until you have them all done. You can do any number combination you want. Once we set all the hotkeys, then I can press those buttons and she can toggle in between the different hairstyles and with her breasts on and off. So this is how you change her hair. You can do an entire stream with any hairstyle you want. There's no time limit on these expressions. They can last the entire stream, no problem. And this part is me actually doing the breast toggle. Now that is it for the voiceover for this video and she is all set up. The next one is going to be about how to customize her. As always, if you have questions, you can send me an email at sleepymia145 at gmail.com or a DM on Twitter at TheSleepyMia. Either is fine.